Fox created. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Coward Podcast. Yeah, I mean, of course, I utilize all that stuff, whether it's uh, for for the label that me and Frez do called Tarbush Records, okay. which I'll mention Tarbush in a sec. Records. Or the website or, or anything, even my artwork or the graph. Yeah, you, you utilize the tools available to you, whether it's Instagram, Facebook or whatnot. Yeah, man. Um, I don't use Twitter, though. Never, never got on Twitter. I don't get Twitter for the life of me. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not just I don't, on I don't shit. really agree with some of what he says about that. Just because I try and keep up with what the kids, the kids sound like an old wanker, mm. but what like rappers are doing now. Mm. And they're not bothered about any of that MPC mm. kind of shit, mm. vinyl selection, uh, what's it called, sampling and yeah. stuff. Mm. And you look at what they're doing, man. Mm. They're all driving Lamborghinis. You look mm. at Dave M24 mm. gigs, all mm. these people. They don't, they don't have any... They probably just see it as like some boom bap bullshit. Mm. You know what I mean? That The whole thing that I spent my whole life doing mm. is probably... Has you can get like maximum like a crowd of like a thousand or mm. maybe two. These guys are like selling out. You know, what I mean? what's his name? Yeah. Giggs is chatting to P Diddy right now. Yeah, telling him about London slang and yeah. going around DJ Khaled's house and yeah, all. Yeah, You're yeah. like, holy shit! These guys, they don't give a shit. They don't need yeah. to give a shit no, about they, that you know, old stuff. I got to push back a little bit. I I I, th- I agree with you. You're right. I don't think they give as much of a shit. But whether they know it or not, they're influenced by it in one way or another. Yeah, because I, I see. Cause I think they they play some they grime might, and shit. No, but they they all all those grime heads they they worship Jay Z, and yeah. and probably they worship his first couple of albums, yeah, which yeah, was yeah, all yeah. made like yeah, that. Yeah. And, and you know Geeks, what I mean? Yeah. And with Griselda, Griselda and that lot at the moment is yeah. I've seen photos with him. And yeah. Griselda, they still maintain that you know shout out Beat Butcher. Have you mm. had him on here? No, I don't nah. know. You've got to get him on. Bang. And um, uh, they still maintain, even though they might not use the same technology they might not sample a vinyl they might get their samples from somewhere else whatever but they still maintain that aesthetic mm. of that of that that way it was done and and that's why i disagree a bit with you yeah the kids most of them are probably oblivious to yeah, how that they shit don't went even down. Know it exists they don't but they're not aware that they that they've that been they're influenced, influenced by, by that sound mm-hmm. you know because yeah. the people they're into were influenced by that sound do you know what yeah. i mean and so it's there somewhere there's a thread somewhere mm. they might not be able to see it though you know yeah no there'll always be like some sort of linear to 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 yeah. it yeah mm. i mean it kind of kills me try. sometimes when i see rappers today and you're thinking holy shit this guy is selling like so many units or yeah. mad tours or like you know what I mean selling out huge arenas in England and it, it's or you know what I mean being at the front of Glastonbury or sent mm. what's it called main stage at V Fest and mm. all that you're like yo this is fucking these guys are killing it now yeah and I don't I, I don't it. really feel like uh, grime and rap should be at festivals and this could be quite controversial mm. but I'm definitely not a carnival, a festival kind of guy I'm more of a carnival kind of guy mm. yeah yeah it always kind of rubbed me I was like how come like rap and grime isn't like isn't there a, why isn't there a stage at carnival for these sorts of things like yeah. a, a bona fide like, oh you Hill, mean like Notting Hill carnival like why yeah. isn't there why yeah, isn't there yeah. a festival yeah. aspect where you can actually see that? I think they may have tried it this year but but you know mm. that being said back in the day the, the, I, don't, I don't want to mention Westwood but like you know the Westwood stage when you bust the rhymes on and, and, yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic yeah, biggie one time legendary. I missed it that one but yeah legendary yeah Legendary. It's part um, of the, the thing there, man. But Yeah, it is. It really is. But the thing is, our last carnival, props to Harry Love, he yeah, was Harry. DJing out of a window from someone's house, a friend yeah, of his this. house. Yeah. And it's that's just, proper it's carnival us, man. vibes, yeah, man. Saying, that's that, proper carnival us, vibes. Man. If we want to make it happen, we can make yeah, it happen. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's yeah. actually just set up and do it. Yeah. Just set mm. up and pitch up. That's why I love it when people do podcasts and, you, and just getting DIY about it. Mm. You know, because that's yeah. what that's what hip hop's about. Yeah. That's what graffiti's about. Well, I was listening Doing again to bring up Daz because recently he just came uh, again to plug another podcast. His mm. F twenty four podcast. Yeah, yeah, he just type. he just interviewed Mode Two and and nice. he mentioned something. I, it just came to me when you said that you don't like to do like you don't think hip hop should be in stadiums and mm. be in these things. And he's mentioned something similar, which I agree with. Like culture, mm. it can't be presented effectively in a massive stadium. You need venues, 300, 400, where yeah. people are rubbing shoulders with each other. You can see across the room, everyone, yeah. it's more intimate and you can feel that stuff more. Absolutely. You know? and, and you can pass that message on better that way. It's funny you, know? you say that because, yeah. I mean, in light of 
break dance and going to the Olympic Games, mm. you know, a lot of what they're worried oh, yeah. about is that some of that raw roots, you know, ground grounding of like these little mini events and just people throwing down will yeah. be lost because the new generation will only know the sports methods and practices. And then you'll get all of that stuff like, oh, he's a sellout, he yeah. did the Olympics, yeah, he's not real. No, so we don't, you know we I mean? don't advocate here because we're definitely all about the programme. It's evolution, it isn't could, it? it could, yeah, it could, it could have an opposite effect. It could just get more people into it, you know what mm. I mean? And, yeah. and I don't think, because the, the thing is, the beauty of the smaller thing is that it costs less and uh, it's mm. easier to pull mm. off mm -hmm. and you don't have to have as big a reach to, to fill up a, a, a 50 capacity, 100 capacity, mm. 150 capacity. It's not that difficult, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you really want to, yeah, you yeah. can make that happen, yeah, you know? Yeah. And uh, so I think that will never die out, mm. you know? I don't think it will. I hope not. And I, I will be one of those people keeping that shit alive. Like the West London I Warehouse think... Party that we used to do is because I found w warehouse parties were non-existent in West London. Unless you went east. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, to yeah, go yeah, east. yeah, totally. But I can't to go east, east, man. I get a nosebleed in east. You know, man? I can't go that <laughs> far. It's a passport. It's a passport. Yeah. Yeah, a passport as well. So I have but, to stay in west. But that's the thing. And, and it used to all be in west mm. back in the day. Sorry. It was all Labra Grove. Like, yeah, you know, man. All them yeah. areas. And all the way out. Yeah, that whole east. subterranean strip. They, you know, there was always so things going on around there. I tried to bring That's where I was born. Right around the corner from Labra Grove Station. What was the name of that bar? that was on Portobello Road. Mau Mau's. Mau Mau's. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know it's changed now. Now it's a new one. Yeah, it's, it's a new one. Yeah. Right? That was very that. small. A little. Yeah. I did something there with Harry Love a couple of times. Yeah. I think he, it was his night. Yeah, he does a night now at the new venue that's there now. I can't remember the name. Oh, is it the, the same so it's place? It's become a snazzy it's bar. Like late Night Marauders. A big up Harry. Yeah, yeah. 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 big up Harry, man. And this is all West. For those of you that are out of town, because we've got some internationals out there as well, West London is noted yeah. as being one of the key places where hip hop first landed so it goes without saying part of that culture is the grounding and things like you know illegal jump up opportunist yeah. Yeah. raves yeah. And, and the thing is I don't, I don't think those type of things could really thrive in smaller cities I mean obviously they can but because London is so fucking big mm. you know you can find these little cubby holes mm. around where they're completely out of sight, you know? Yeah, and you Which get I think that. Helps. You definitely get that with Graf as well. I yeah. I keep, keep on getting told, like, at least once a week there's a new spot. There's a new spot. But, yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to hush, hush. You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Loads of ones, man. Don't talk nice about walls, it. Nice no, walls, no yeah. rubbish. But that's how Graf used to be. Like, Graf mm. used to be, yo, where'd you get that pen? He's like, no, yeah. I'll tell you later. Mm -hmm. What I mean, ink I is can't, in that pen? I can't tell you where I wrap my paint. You know, because you just don't want to hot up the, the spot. Yeah. So where'd you get that? No, we go Alperton. We used to go like far, far away to get these cans and come mm. back. And you tell like two or three people. And if he told someone, if I told someone about his plot and he heard that this guy, he's like, what the fuck are you blatantly he told him that he's fucking about this fucking plot. Now he's going there, you've baited it up. Man. It was like really special and unique trying to find like yeah. these mad little car shops that sold paint. You know what I mean? It reminded me of a mad story. Incredible. Can, I, can I tell this story? Yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird do. one. Again, back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this must be like uh, late 90s, 98, something like that. Um, I'll tell the quickish version of the story. There were, we had the crew, SDF crew, Zelo, insert a couple of heads. And um, we used to rack paint. Uh, Alki as well, big up Alki. He was the king racker. They're paint. like, the, they're like the, the junior brothers, the little brothers of VFL. Yeah, VFL. Nice. We came so VFL, 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 like Asia, crazy. Mean, yeah, Braze. Come on, these are... They were schooling them and like yeah. telling them, no, that would yeah. enough. don't do any fucking dubs. Like go and emulsion the track side mm, yeah, and drop fat pieces on it. Mm. That's it what like these were doing. There were two schools of thought back then. I remember, obviously I'm oversimplifying, but there was, a, in my mind, from what I could see, obviously I had the VFL crew, and in some ways PFB as well through mm -hmm, Mean, mm -hmm. yeah, mainly through Mean, because he was West London. And uh, yeah, I mean. and then there was the DDS way of doing things, which was, uh, and I used to kind damage, of oversimplify damage, it, qu quantity over quality. Not that DDS aren't quality, they are, of course, but they were all about smash the lines as much as and possible. And trains, they were about trains, trains and all VFL that stuff. VFL weren't really about Whereas the trains. VFL, they, they, did, they did plenty back in the day, but yeah, later on they weren't. They were about picking one spot, marshing the wall, mm. doing pieces, background, mm. colours, characters, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Asia yeah. with the women faces mm -hmm. or the Asia snake and all that stuff. So that we kind of came up under their tutelage, nice. as it were, you know, their aesthetic of what mm -hmm. was going on. But no, back to that story. So we were all chilling and we used to... We, and there was a paint shop. It's kind of a fucked up story, by the way. <laughs> I'm not proud of this one, yeah. But it was a, it was, there was a paint shop. It was like an independent paint shop in West 
no, Barron's Court area. And Fibians I don't know there. whose idea it was, but we had this girl that used to hang out with us as well. I don't want to say her name. She used to turn... She, she basically... That old chestnut. I think it might have even been her idea because she was a proper oh, scumbag. Her yeah. already, I rate yeah. her, but she was a proper scumbag. And she was quite fit as well, yeah? And she knew it. So she wore like a low-cut top. She made printed out this fake thing on a computer, I think at school or at the library or something, went into this paint spray paint shop with a clipboard and told these guys that she works for children in need, the TV show, which was big at the time. Yeah. yeah. And she said, we're painting, we're getting all these graffiti rides to paint all these trucks that are all going to be sending supplies to Africa, yeah, mm. or, or wherever it was, yeah. What a fucking story, yeah. Jesus! So she goes in, and these guys—she well, like, must we'll have looked like fifteen at the time. Well, we were, whatever. we were like, yeah, no, we were. They completely we got black. We were sixteen years old, but she looked a bit older. Yeah, and I had my moustache growing through. But anyways, we left it to her. <laughs> she came through, and she basically blagged these people that she worked for children in need, and that we needed a whole bunch of paint. If they were willing to donate paint for this, then we'd plug their shop on TV. You know, and this was the biggest thing at the time back in the night. Yeah, children in need was huge. And they fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. We had to do three trips in the car Holy full shit. of paint. Oh just my. boxes and boxes of spray paint. I have never heard anything what like it, it in my life. No. Uh, it was, I can't remember. Like I said, this was an independent shop. It wasn't high coats. It wasn't, no, I, I can't even remember. It had a little sun on it with three colours going around it. It wasn't the K plan. Uh, car plan. No, a little was, uh, sun on it with planets going I'll around. I'll find out what it is, man. I can't remember. The, 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 it was a weird pick because the yellow came out like piss. We couldn't mm. use any of the yellows. The yellow was. always comes yeah, out Yeah, it does. Yeah. But this yellow one in particular. Always oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, but, but anyway, we had to do three trips in the car, me and Insa, and... It was just mad. So we had all the paint we needed for the summer. Oh, sorry, because you were talking about racking. I just thought... I'd no, it's that a good story, story man. Mad story. I haven't told that on the podcast yet. No, that's well, a good... I haven't um, heard that There's one, a man. long version of that I story. I blatantly know who she is. I already know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know. But yeah, that's a good but story. A Comment dark, below though. if you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> now, she lives in Switzerland now, I think. Well, I know. It's a field yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. She's really yeah. cool, though. So we to and everybody else. But, I mean, it's a bit dark. Like I said, you know, it's a charity thing. But And the guy was an independent paint store, so I kind of feel bad now. But at the time, we were teenagers. We no, were you like, had to get yeah. paint. Yeah, and you wanted paint. And by all, any means necessary, we needed paint. And that, that hooked us up for the whole summer, basically. I did the, the thing. When I, when I watched kids for the first time, because I was a skateboarder, <laughs> snowboarder, and I had these massive kind of snow... I was there a lot. You know, I was... I was trying to go pro snow when I was in France a lot. I had tons and tons of kit. Oh. Then I'd have like a whole load, loads of different um, snowboard jackets and shit. And then when I saw kids, how like they tucked in, and I thought London writers are doing it as well, tucking in like the inner garment to mm. your jeans mm. and then putting, and then just dashing down the sleeves yeah, and all yeah. of that. And we used to nick all the beers and the your rums and the stuff he like that. He had a green jacket. He yeah, dude, that's a in, famous green he jacket. He sewed in <laughs> pockets. Green jacket, tell us about the green jacket. Yeah, he, used to, he sewed in... Th- Two pockets like him on himself. The side. Oh my yeah, he sewed them in, in just so they were big enough to Incredible. fit a couple of And then just dashed them in, man. He was the king. Frez, back in the day, was yeah. the king. He was sly, fingers. man. Yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. sly. Not anymore. No, no, you are. I'm saying back yeah. in the day. I did t- yeah. tell the story about having the. Sorry, we'll get. Sorry, yeah. don't worry, man. But uh, the, uh, the, the 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 tuck in. I think diet came came yeah. through first with it, where you tuck everything in and they'd start on the back. And almost like mission oh, yeah, yeah. tire themselves with with cans. I go I go painting with diet a lot, and you turn up and you're like, have you got a blue? And he'll dash you a blue that he's wrecked. He'll like he's not not bothered about going chrome and black and buying all that like fancy <laughs> paint. He's still wrecking loads of fucking Big paint. Diet. Diet's a fucking hundred percent. No, I he's know for the sure. Ultimate general. Yeah, yeah. I know is. for diet. sure. I've been to B and Q certain B and Qs when after he's been there and I've been like, oh fucking hell, bro. There's nothing left, man. Big up diet. You what? go around his yard. It's just like paint, paint. You got. Like this this stairwell there's just yeah. boxes of all like you know what I mean it's, it makes you feel like you're in like spray can art and there's just bare different boxes of paint oh my God. still to this day you know what I mean God, I love that's that. how much of a fucking don he is and he doesn't give a shit you know what I mean I just fucking love him I, love, I fucking love that props to Akit as well yeah man. big Salute. up Akit of yeah. course sorry as well as the story as you were saying you were talking about racking or yeah. no racking that was just yeah using the yeah. using the jacket and the snowboard pants and shit and just having it uh-huh. having like thermals mm. on underneath putting the thermals into the the trousers into the sock and that and then just because they were so baggy because the fashion was so but everyone was doing that mm. and just racking 
eight or nine or ten, and then if you'd be in a house party, oh, Fiend can go and get it. And I'd be like going and lick loads of beers and yeah, like yeah. kind of waddle out like oh, that. No, it and used shit. to be competition. We'd go yeah, into yeah, a yeah, shop yeah, used to and be who comp- could walk out with the most shit. The most like, shit. Yeah, yeah. This is, again, back when we and were. To this day, family. I'm still racking stuff. When I get pissed off, like I went to buy <laughs> Sainsbury's the other day, yeah. The self checkout. Yeah, man. Yeah, do, fuck I those I guys, man. Yeah, and I the spinach. That, the spinach is £1.50, brother. And look, fuck like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, no, you have the pretend scanner now. Have you seen those in Sainsbury's? You have your own. Guns. So you like right. press the thing, you scan your nectar card on it, and then you can just walk around scanning and dash it in your bag. Damn. Oh my god. So then you just don't scan the barcode and everything just gets dashed in the bag. And then you don't have to you don't yeah. get the beeps because you've already it's scanned. So weird for me. Because when you if you was a wow. back in the day in the nineties or any time there, you go into a shop with your own bag mm. and just yeah. start putting <laughs> stuff in there. Yeah, you'd be weird. like Rrr! straight away, but now they expect you. Have you got your own bags? Yeah, I bought my own bags. I'm putting all my stuff yeah, in my yeah, own bag. You're, you're just bag. fucking loading these bags. You know the shit. biggest scam? You know the most incredible scam that I had heard that shoplifters were doing? Because, mm. you know, like Sainsbury's and Tesco's, they'd have those, you know, novelty red post boxes in their... Yeah. Things. Well, so what they were doing is they were getting their envelopes, the jiffy bags, walking in with them, with them signed and dated. And they were putting DVDs, everything, uh-huh. in, and posting them off really? to themselves. So they were leaving. They, they oh, were shit. I like that, The man. following day, they would have the delivery of a, of a I shoplift like that, item. Man. That's classic. <laughs> yeah. classic. So nowadays, I only rack something if I think it's... If, if I look at it and I think, oh, it's such a libby. That price is just too no, much. If, if it doesn't take. scan. Sometimes they don't scan or whatever. I'm like, fuck it. You know what yeah, I mean? Dash it Put in. it in the bag. You know what I mean? I'm like, no one, if, if they don't, if they don't care enough to have a human here interacting with me, then yeah. fuck them. There you is know? that principle, isn't it? Of yeah. like, well, you don't care, so why should we? Yeah. And you're charging like two pounds for this kind of diet coat. I mean, I like, fuck. The, it's yeah. ridiculous. I get the principle. And at this point, I might add, we do not advocate this kind of we stuff. We do not condone TV thing. We do not thing. condone yeah, thing no. or five finger discounts. No. Um, you keep your dirty little grubby fingers to yourself. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember that old UK hip hop crew, Universal Soldiers? Uh, yes, I do. They had that tune. They, Ricochet yeah, Ricochet and, uh, and, and, and all them boys. Rick Branson. Oh God, Universal so Soldiers. But he, they had a tune called Five Finger Dis- Discount. You just reminded Sick. me of that. I love that tune. There's a lot of lineage here on this yeah. table so far as UK hip hop and just oh, yeah. general overall yeah. cultureness. I mean, does it ever. Yeah. Does, 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 does it ever wear thin for you I mean you're doing podcasts now guys like does it ever get to the point where it's like hip hop never hip hop never because sometimes graph I'm like Mm. like it's January the 6th and it's fucking snowing and I'm lying down on some tracks like waiting for trains and you're thinking man what the fuck am I (laughs) thinking about my youths at home thinking about like (laughs) how many of my mates are kind of doing this shit like hardly any you know what I mean where would they think theme would be right now Yeah, I'm in a bush (laughs) in the snow they're all like I'm going to watch match of the day and go to bed you know what I mean and you're like fuck it man that's nuts that's what makes it beautiful to me man and and, and I think that as well that as well because you see so many spots that they mm-hmm. don't see. You see a side of London that yeah, not many Mad spots. Get to see for sure. And you get to meet lots of cool, interesting people. I mean, I've kind of like, you know, based my whole identity kind of around it, man. Yeah, so I yeah, can't escape yeah. it now, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Obviously, I, I got different avenues and like mm-hmm. I, I work for an events company, so I got to deal with clients. I'm not coming to them with like, yo, what up, son? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to deal with the Man, no, not with the talking day. and the dready <laughs> and all this kind of like, shit. Obviously, I'm you know I can deal with people properly and all that stuff. And but I'm always true to 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 what it is. Mm. That's you know one thing saying, about Graf. When I, um, you haven't had him on here, but he'll never come on here. But there's a guy in London who writes who writes chick. Yeah, oh, yeah but yeah, he doesn't totally. really write. He writes billions of different yeah, words. Yeah, Batman. Yeah. yeah. And um, for him, it's not even about. I write a word. lot with him. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't for a while, but yeah. we, we we did a lot of we did a lot. And um, well, quite recently, we did a lot. He'd, be, he'd be taking you to a spot, and you know that he's scoped the spot. He knows when guards are coming, when they're leaving, what time trains are running, if they're <laughs> if it's better to do it when the trains are running or when it's not, and all this shit. And I'll be kind of there, just going like this, like trying to absorb all like this dirty mm. kind of urban dusty environment like yo this is sick this is it this is it yeah and he's a can we go you go down here shut your mouth you're like fucking hell yeah yeah but i'm trying to absorb like yeah. all this amazing yeah. kind of landscape yeah, 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 yeah. and thinking to myself like i can't tell any if i told my my wife about this i mean she's from venezuela and she didn't give a shit mm-hmm. you know if i told mm-hmm. some mates to be like what are you doing what are you doing no 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 there's, there's like a it. few set mates yeah. you'd be like look at this and there's no graph in it Look at this photo of London, bruv. And, and you're like, yo, 
that's sick. You, you, you've paid a, a bunch of times with DDS and DDS affiliates. Mm. I, only, started, only... I started DDS and PFB. <laughs> yeah. I think I put, I put, I put I think plug in saying, TBF I think and I put slam in TBA. <laughs> and they're still putting it up. But that's cool, man. That's cool. It's bled. No, but, but like I've only been on a couple of missions like with Zombie and, and a couple of heads salute them boys. Mm. Uh, they're like regimental with mm. that shit, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. It's an extra level. It's, it's a, like a, yeah, a level up. Especially like, uh, obviously. Chick the most like, though, man. Chick like. You tell me. Like I mean, a I, military I kind of anything. expert, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Knows his shit. Big up Chick. Big course, up Chick, man. Question. All the time. Yeah. Serious. Always. Serious. Cause, cause Cause I always learn working, something as well. When I'm, whenever I'm with him or with the likes yeah. of. Yeah. You always go away feeling like you've learned something. You've learned something, man. Mm. Yeah, exactly. All you do is look at And he's not even from here, but he's putting it in so much. Yeah. He he's knows every entrance and exit. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of the, he's probably the sickest writer. Mm. Now, who does more graft than Chick? I mean, I mean, we were mentioning Tenfoot mm. on the podcast last episode. Yeah, um, we we you know, yeah, but well, we there. have to big up bees as well because you know. Oh. But if we're talking Chick, and I mean, these guys are like the yeah, whole duo. So yeah. yeah, I think I think the levels in general of graph have gone up seismically. You mm. know, Faye, big up Faye, but I hear it every day. He's telling me in different places he's going, and it's, mm. yeah, yeah. he's improved a lot as well, yeah, man. Yeah, I've yeah. seen. I mean, he was he's good. He's been mm. definitely. Um, Still hitting killer. panels. Mm. A lot of writers are still hitting panels, and panels yeah. have come back in a big way. Yeah. But uh, I've heard, like, with, like, you know what I mean? You say, listen, I got this spot. We just got to jump over this wall, go under this fence. He's already like, no. Nah. You know, he, I don't, there's no jumping and climbing is for bumpkins, bruv. Man's got a key for every, <laughs> man's got a key for the king's bedroom, bruv. You know I mean, I'm just going in, like, key for everything. Wow. So when I came up once or twice with the reach, I, mean, I don't especially know I'm too tough. I'm not trying to say I do, but I come up with a couple of reaches. Like, Yo, we, we got to do this, we got to do this. He's like, shut up, man. Like, there's no way, like, <laughs> man's not jumping on this really? or doing I'm that. Really? not about that. No. Uh, I can't remember yeah. who I was with when he's, maybe it was that guy, the cameraman. But yeah, it's this. It was like, I was, I, it schooled me. I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like That's how it go down. Everything he does is mm. kind of key in, out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Now that, that, those kind of levels. Wow. Man. Well, the thing is, I mean, ultimately, if you're doing this seriously and you're out there a lot. You get the oppos to get the keys. Yeah, but no, but, 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 but it's more so like, cause, cause it's quite, it's quite difficult to get caught doing graph if, if you're smart. Mm. about it if you're smart about and it and sober <laughs> and, and sober like yeah yeah for sure but if you're smart about it it's well easy to get away yeah. with it you'd have to wish you, you know, could go back just... to when you were younger yeah exactly there's so a so fucking clay we used to call yeah. them clays yeah like the track <laughs> yeah. walkers are clay there's a clay and you don't jump up and yeah. make loads of noise <laughs> dancing down these dudes are like 24 just on their on their like you know in their their not job bothered. not bothered. just trying to fix a bit of track yeah now when you see clays we kind of just sit there, just watch them. Maybe have a zoo. Maybe have a bit. Like when oh, we you, did yeah. when we did Westbourne. Uh, oh yeah. What was that area? Just outside of Westbourne Park Station. There's uh, like a teach zonk. Yeah, mid, yeah I know. That, that's our banging street. Theme, Amber, we, got, we, we yeah. went on and we, we got a little. We, we, we jumped so we go there. down there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it's got all like these these vines and plants and shit oh, on the wall. Man. So Muggins here is like ripping them all down. I'm yeah. like scraping them all off. Do you want to gardener? There's your guy. Yeah, yeah. sit. Dude, man is just sitting there in, in the bush, just having a beer, just yeah. watching. <laughs> And I just asked like, to take over, and you were like, nah, I got it, yeah, I got yeah. it. I was like, all right. Then, then some clays came, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, they were on the other side, yeah, yeah. Well, they and came we just, over towards you? No, they just sat and watched. But Look, because there was a little ditch, so as long as we go like that, then no one up there was going to see what yeah. was going on. I mean, if, even if and you were painting a yard tracks, now. That stretch of tracks as well, there's like eight, nine stretch of tracks. This yeah. is going into Paddington. Yeah, yeah, Great so, Western. So they yeah, were right on the other the side. There was nowhere near. There's us. nowhere. Yeah, that's like crossing over a river, isn't yeah. it? It's but you realise they don't. They don't. Whoa, they don't mm. give a fuck. You know what I mean? No. They're just finishing their night shift and going home. So if you, even if you was painting a yard now, you and someone came, you'd just be. I'd probably just walk up to them and say, "Listen, oh, yeah. I'll put my cans away and I'll just walk off, bruv." You and they'd I mean? probably be fucking. Uh, and not even not wait for their response. Just I do it, and they'd yeah. be younger than me. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's, you just, be, I'm just gonna do it. I yeah, swear, yeah, a lot yeah, of clays, a lot of clays are ex writers, man. I swear, man. You see now on UK Frontline, it seems like a lot of train writers, uh, drivers, are like mm. filming the oh, panels. That is a thing. Yeah. And that posting thing. it. Yeah, that is a thing. It's is happened. that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, think, I think what it is is that it's so um, um, 
almost a- appropriate. It's been culturally appropriatized. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. A, no, but also it's so rare to see a train painting. I reckon the train drivers are like fucking. Hell. But it's not They've for them. It. It's for us. But for them, they just have to take it straight into the buff. Yeah. So in the morning, they probably see quite a lot of damage. So they probably mm. get the videos before yeah. it goes to buff. Because and they, they take know, these, yeah. They know how That's easy it is to buff. It and they're like reading done. it. Oh, look what it says. Like, yeah. It says, happy Halloween. <laughs> and, and then, um, <laughs> but toys burn in hell or something. Someone put on a train. And you think, okay. I wonder what that means. Toys burn <laughs> yeah, yeah. in hell. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. yeah, man. This is a, a funny time. Do you reckon some of it is um, more uh, political in the sense that, like, I don't know. A lot of people aren't happy. I can imagine yeah. people who work on tracks and trains see mm. that you know the broken window effect of it all and just can't be fucked because they. And know they're not they're getting fucked. paid. Not getting paid. They're getting yeah. paid jack shit. When uh, the graph took off during COVID, man, like everyone knows Blew that. Up. Yeah. Like knows that the yards must have got smashed. Everything got smashed to fuck, man. Yeah. And it kind of came back in a good way. And there is a lot of that. Mm. I mean, you're paying me minimum wage. To like fucking scrape off some graph, clean the inside of the mm. train, remove mm. all the newspapers, do all of this shit. Like, fuck that, man. Mm. You know, no one's going to start chasing you and trying to row you in that. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. No. I think they're even told not to chase people, especially when it's on the train tracks. Well, I yeah, think there's been like examples of it. But now it's funny because you're like, you know what I mean? You, you pro- sometimes you're bigger than the you turn around you're like yo we're just gonna leave <laughs> and they're like yeah no what, mate you know what I mean? they don't yeah. give a shit they they're give a shit. Now, when you behind know. you were like 14 you're like fucking hell they're mm. dusting like dropping all paint on those like grey pebbles and shit mm. making bare noise isn't it telling though that through the generation of hip hop and graph and drum and bass and all these other cultures that, that graffiti kind of links to is that the age of, of writers mm. now like it's so yeah. it never has there been a time where there's been newcomers um, intermediates and old school guys out doing it and yeah. I mean some of the I suppose most guys, of the big writers now are yeah. over uh, 35 kind of years age, old yeah. <laughs> they're all some older. of them are in their 40s and 50s yeah. Yeah. zombie well, chats actually, about that he, he doesn't yeah. because thing is with dudes like zombie and that he's never stopped mm. doing writing mm. and he'll freely admit like some guys came into it in this part of the scene and they fucking bodied it. Mm. But then, oh, then this guy came into it like 2000 to 2000 and he fucking, but, but then he mm. disappeared. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's like, you yeah. see me theme, I never disappeared. Mm. You know I mean? Like, you know, holy shit. Yeah. That's true. Never you know what I mean? Just completely continuous, continuous. I'll tell you what, to bring it back to our podcast, Arms House to Your Mum's Mom's House. Mum's House. <laughs> our episode two is called Young Man's Sport, where mm. we go in on, uh, we go in on hip hop culture, not specifically graffiti, but it does count for graffiti. The culture itself is so young. Mm. It's barely 50 years old now. Yeah. I think it's just hitting 50 now. Next like, year, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. So, so, and like, you know, so we grew up with it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so, of course, when we were starting off, most people in it were young. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, there was no older heads... Uh, Getting in, they definitely weren't going to start risking yeah. their their freedom and their their, no their, their families or whatever to right? do this. So it's a it was a young man's sport. It, it's the first official art genre that was created by kids. Mm. All the other art movements were created by adults. This is the first one, if I'm not misunderstood, that was created by kids in the Bronx in, in New yeah. York. And, but yeah, and in te- their and teens, they were in teens, their teenage years. Yes. So obviously, as the, the 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 genre grows, the people will grow with it. So God, you know, with, obviously there's there's a uh, you know Baz and Dave and like novelty raps where there's old men rapping mm-hmm. where it's a novelty. I, I don't think it's going to be a novelty soon, man. Yeah, you know, no. soon enough yeah. there's going to be people of all ages, like in rock. Yeah, that's right. You can have an old rock head. It's no one's going to go. Oh, what's this old guy yeah, doing this? He's going to be like, no, standard. He's a, he's a legend of that game. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. We don't have them yet. I mean, we got the Grandmaster Kazes. God bless, they're still alive, man. Yeah, 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 We've totally. got to show them love now while so, they're still here. And Not rest in peace wait, to the soldiers, man. And, and rest in peace, to, exactly. But but some of the pioneers of this mm-hmm. genre are still fucking here to still tell alive. the story. Isn't that bonkers to think that they're still alive? These, these dons, Grandmaster Flash is still fucking alive. Yeah. It's mad. That's incredible. It's mad. Yeah. Cool Herc is still alive, yeah. you know what I mean? Incredible. I've seen him DJ a couple of times... Uh, um, but yeah, so so these guys are still alive. So I know there's still a lot of contention about the origins. You know, mm. obviously there's, you know, people's memories are mm. hazy, mm. and I'm sure they were all getting up to all sorts. Yeah. And there's little arguments about the history still. But we should 
you know, I like that, that they're still alive. You know, you look at like Jimi yeah. Hendrix, Stevie mm. Ray Vaughan, all those kind of rock guys. They're mm. all dead, long gone. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, the, the yeah, Chuck Berry, fucking, you know, yeah, exactly. But but they're yeah, still the here, so let's cherish around, them man. while they're still here and mm. learn as much as we can while they're still here, so that you have to look back before you could go forward, man. Mm. That's another thing that I, I that we want to try and push on this podcast. You know what I mean? For real. Well, um, I mean, what a sentiment to to. Uh, Wrap by and f- yeah. and wrap up on and furthermore mm. to do more podcasts yeah. to have more cultural point pointing of certain things and mm. and more documentation. Mm. What you guys are doing? Mm. I like doing? that book thing, man. That's a wicked little. Yeah, no, oh yeah, wait. That's oh. something else. I got a gift for you, man. I got oh gift. shit! This is just because I. I, I uh, it's Yo. it's a gift for Keller, but it's also so I can plug something. Uh, oh here we God. go. Get in. This is basically me and Frez. Oh we have God. a uh, we yes. make beats. We make beats on NPCs. We sample vinyl. You know what I mean? I made this character. Uh, props to my man Shucks ID. Big he, up Shucks. I did Shucks I did the Tizer. design, but he he computerized it for me and funked it up. Vectorized for me, man. So, the Thank you, no, no, but my respect brother. to Shucks. But this is a large T. I hope that's yeah, bro. Right. Yeah, Just man. Thank but I want to plug so as much. well for people. No, wow, touch, thank man. You, thank you. Thank, you. thank you for having us on it. Thank yeah, yeah. But um, I just want to say as well check out our podcast, Arms House to, to Your, your Mom's house. house, on all podcast apps and on YouTube. But Tarboosh Records is the music thing that me and Frez do. And we got shows on there where we review albums. I make beats and, and uh, we've got a whole fun thing going on there. It's too long to go into now, but please go check that out, Tarbush. You put it in the yeah, links. Put all the links we'll put yeah. all the links in. It must happen. you got to go and check and that I've out. And I've got we some, got, no, we some got, music. We've got a show there called Don't Judge a Record by Its Cover. Sorry, that's what oh, I yeah. meant to say. Hard. Don't Judge a Record by Its Cover. That's the show you need to check Love out. That. Sorry, brother. Go I've on. got music dropping with IMS, who do music with <laughs> Tenchu. Oh, yeah. And, um, Big up IMS, you know what it do. Yeah, but those two, two tra- we've got a vinyl coming out. Yeah. And everyone's saying, when you got when you next drop a music, when you next drop it, I've been lazy, but now it's coming out. I've got Farmer G, we're gonna do a little project together. The beat master. Um Whoa. so yeah, and go well, and check my old project. shit. We're, we're gonna, gonna do a project. project. We better We've spoken about a lot of people who have done a lot of music <laughs> with. I've got tracks with Beat Butcher, I've got a thing called okay. Toys Get Smoked Quincy with like Tones. M9. Quincy Tones, yeah. yeah. Uh, reveals on it. Big up reveal. Tony D's on it. Oh. M9's on it. Iron Braids is on it. Genesis Elijah's on it. So all of that stuff is all on their real theme band camp. And I'm kind of like getting really like knee deep back into the rapping. And people have been telling yeah. me I should. Yeah, you should yes. And all those people doing are, are going to be guests on the podcast soon. Yeah, that's well. true. Wow. That's true, man. <laughs> See, listen, I'll give you the alley you. These yeah. guys are onto some shit. These guys are busy. Yeah. We, you know, well, we haven't just, been and now we're getting busy again, yeah, you know what I mean? To make it be. good, yeah. We love it. I mean, we love it. We love it. We live it. That's what we do, man. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, you know? isn't it? We love we love it. gave me so like much, yourself, man, on yeah. it. You know, so I want to give back a bit as well. But I can't help not anyway. That's what Check we do. Check the comedy videos as well, the graph the graph comedy ones They're that we do. Yeah. As well. You the know. bitter 80s writer. Yeah, Did you see that, that one? one? Did you like that one? <laughs> you know I did. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, we got a little bit. I just want to say something. Like, uh, obviously, much love to everybody. But there was one or two people who took offense to yeah. that. <laughs> They thought we were po- poking at them. We definitely weren't. Did Mo2 get involved? No, 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 in nothing. Mo2 Mo2. was with some one of the videos. No, Mo2 commented. He loved it. He thought it was funny as fuck. Not Mo2. I'm not talking about Mo2. But some people did take offense. I'm telling you now, it had nothing to do with anyone. That character. Yeah, it did. You're all fucking moist pumps. <laughs> and I'm going to make fucking characters about you again and again and again. It's based on me. Moist. Basically, the character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just, just wanted to say that. Yeah, she just wanted to clear the air on that one. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you're all clear. It's got nothing to do with no one. Yeah, it's yeah. all love. People. It's all love, man. Yes. It's always love. And always will be love, because without you guys, there would be no there would be no scene the way we see it. If you, you want to get in PFB or DDS, come and see me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you, you send you a little right? check. You yeah, well, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 To you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Amber, demon side to play. Respect, man. My brothers. Brother. Um, and enjoy. New podcast, link in bio below. You know what to do. Killer Killer Podcast, Alec like was out of fashion, you know what deal. Crime don't pay, but neither today, all right? Hey. Don't talk to anybody, I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Peace. Nice one. <laughs>